Mambo Team Africa Worldwide. Once again, this is your brother Konate Habariya Asabui, which means good morning in the African Bantu language Kiswahili. Uh, my uh, title for the video today is called Why Are Black People So Gullible? And um, what I'm speaking to specifically is uh, efforts to uh, divide uh, African people, specifically in America, uh, from people on the continent. Um, we have uh, various different groups who identify uh, by names other than African. Um, and uh, the most popular ones right now uh, being ADOS and um, FBA. ADOS, for whoever may not know, means uh, American Descendants of Slavery, and um, FBA means uh, Foundational Black Americans. Um, and from my observation, these are basically uh, African American groups who want um, uh, identity uh, for themselves, which is nothing wrong with that. Um, but uh, going along with that, they're often anti-African uh, immigrant, um, anti-Caribbean immigrant, and uh, that's, that's a huge problem. Um, and people really don't understand how uh, nothing is ever coincidence. Uh, this, uh, these movements took off uh, during um, Ghana's year of return. The year of return was a success. Uh, Ghana made a lot of money. I don't remember the, the exact amount, but they made a lot of money. Um, and uh, I hear that other countries, such as Nigeria, are thinking about following their lead and, um, and also having um, years of return. But could you imagine how much bigger the year of return would have been but for the ADOS and FBA movements? Um, it would seem that people would know that um, strength is in numbers. You know, I mean, if you have to walk to the store, I don't know if kids do that these days, but when I was a kid, you, you walk to the store if, the groceries uh, came up short if you ran out of bread or if you ran out of juice. Your parents sent you to the store to uh, to pick up something before the next uh, grocery run. And if, you know, if there's bullies en route to you getting the resources you need, um, you learn real quick, uh, quick, real quickly not to go by yourself. If you had a brother or a sister, you took your brother and sister with you. If you didn't have a brother or a sister, you took your best friend with you. I mean, you know, my best friend growing up, if his brother couldn't go to the store with him, he would knock on my door and ask my mother, could I go to the store with him? Because we knew even as five, six, seven, eight year old kids that bullies are cowards and that they only pick fights in which they know they can win. And when you are in numbers, it's less likely that um, your enemy uh, can successfully attack you. So if children know this, why is it that grown adults don't know this? I really don't get it. Um, and so often I find myself when I uh, view YouTube videos or even uh, when I view the comments of my uh, own videos of people from these various movements saying that um, we aren't African, uh, I just want to break down some facts. No, irregardless to, uh, or regard, uh, uh, regardless to your uh, religious beliefs or non-religious beliefs, um, it's a fact that the universe runs off of numbers. 
everything is mathematical. That's that's just how the universe is set up. Um, and um, you can be a scientist, and um, the more you research science, the more uh, this truth is uh, going to hold uh, to be the fact of life, that everything is based on numbers. So just doing a little quick research, there are 327 million people living in America, and only 42 million of them are black or African Americans, and that also includes uh, those of us who identify as multiracial. Okay, but there are um, actually um, over a billion Africans on the continent alone. One billion. Um, and also, when it comes to resources, um, America is a um, facade of wealth. We don't have a lot of mineral resources here. And um, what we do is we take the resources from Africa and South America in order to, um, order to enrich this country. Africa is actually uh, the richest continent on the planet. Gold, diamonds, ore, um, oil, timber, uh, cobalt, rubber, coca, you name it, it's on the continent of Africa. But the people on Africa, in Africa, they tend to not uh, prosper from as much as they should um, because we aren't united. Uh, they are being abused by the colonizers in Africa, and we are being abused by the colonizers here in America and in the UK and in the Caribbean and elsewhere on the planet. So we have to realize that we have uh, one enemy who is, um, is united. Uh, no matter how many times they fought one another they had world war one they had world war two and uh when i throw in uh this this enemy the europeans i'm going to go ahead and throw uh the asians in there as well um and but the asians weren't part of the council of berlin but the council of berlin took place in 1884-1885 and what these people did was they sat down and they divided up Africa into most of the current uh, national borders that we have today. So you have people often talking about um, uh, Africa is not the same as 55 countries and all of that. We need to stop with that and just think of those as states because uh, African people did not create those borders. Those borders were created by uh, the, our enemies to divide us. So they're dividing African people on the continent and they're dividing African people here on the continent. I mean, here in the U.S. Uh, other groups uh, besides uh, the ADOS and FBA who do not necessarily claim African descendancy, uh, who, you know, I have a lot of respect for the nation of Islam and the 5% nations of gods and herbs, but they call themselves Asiatics. They claim to come from um, Arabia or India or something like that. And it's like, I know they try to go back all the way back to the beginning of the time. And that's something that's very difficult to do. But um, scientifically, uh, the uh, oldest fossils have been found in Ethiopia, which go back 200,000 years. So, um, you are an African. We have black Hebrew Israelites. Okay, even if you claim that you come from the Palestinian area, if you look at that geographically, that's still Africa. And even if it wasn't Africa, which it is, um, 
if you go with the biblical story, which may or may not be historically accurate, and say that these people lived in Egypt for a very long time, and then they left as a very large number, it was due to mixture with the Egyptians. And it even says in the Bible that other peoples could not um, tell the physical difference between uh, Hebrews and Egyptians. They looked exactly alike. So to the black Hebrew Israelites, you're African. Uh, you got the people that only claim one part of Africa, which is Morocco. You have the, the Moors, um, Moors Americans. Um, you're African. Um, back to ADOS. Um, I don't know why anybody would want to start their ancestry with the institution of slavery. Um, that was not that long ago. When people always talk about my ancestors died here. Um, you're only counting a few ancestors. The last uh, slave ship came from Africa in 1859 to Mobile, Alabama. Um, 1859 to maybe 1860, they're saying. Um, I was born in 1969, so you're talking about a mere uh, 100 years before I was born. There are people walking the earth 100 years old. So if you take an elephant from Africa and you bring it to America, it's still an African elephant. And if that elephant has children, that's still an African elephant. And then if that African's children has children, it's still an African elephant. elephant. I don't know why um, this is so um, hard of a concept for people to understand. Uh, you know, we, we are who we are. We need to be proud of it. Um, Africa uh, is a place of uh, a proud history. And you can't always uh, believe everything you read and everything you hear. You need to research for yourselves. Um, you know, I understand uh, that um, we may want an identity for ourselves that distinguishes us uh, among um, other African people. Um, I would suggest that we call ourselves Nubians. Um, you know, I've done several DNA tests and... Um, when I trace back the tribes attributed to me, um, it goes to the Nile Valley. Uh, what I've also discovered is that the paternal line or the Y chromosome of, of most African Americans is the exact same Y chromosome. So we, we are the same people. Um, the ones who don't, that's 65% of us and, and, and the other, um, 35%, uh, they have a European Y chromosome, and we know the reason for that. And so, and then it's, it only differentiates among our maternal line uh, because the Atlantic slave trade originally just brought men. And then when they came up with the idea of people being born uh, into slavery, that's when they brought the women so that they can produce more slaves. So, we have some differentiation uh, among our uh, our DNA when it comes to our female side, but when it comes to the the Y chromosome, we're all the same. So, I mean, if you, I think tribalism really hurts Africans, but at the same time, people want to be proud of a specific identity. So, I believe if you want to call yourself uh, a name within being an African American, since you say that some Kenyan Americans and Nigerian Americans can also claim to be African American, which mm, I'm not sure about that. Um, we can call ourselves Nubian, but foundational Black American, uh, uh, American descendant of slave, Black Hebrew Israelites. Oh, and I forgot about the Native Americans. The, black indigenous people. I mean, I don't deny the fact that there may have been some Africans uh, who were present in the Americas prior to the transatlantic slave trade. Um, I don't believe they were large in number, 
and um, why would you claim that small percentage of your ancestry um, compared to um, the majority? That's like some of these people like Skip Gates who runs to Europe um, because he finds out that um, he has a European Y chromosome, even though that's a small percentage of his DNA. To me, that, that just speaks of self-hate. Um, Africa is a, a proud uh, uh, place to be from. You should be proud of it. Um, um, African people created everything. They're the most intelligent people in the world, the most beautiful people in the world. So we need to claim where we're from. We need to unite. And we need to stop all this division and so that we can click up and um, gain power. So because we are colonized worldwide. With that being said, I would suggest everybody please uh, purchase and read this book called uh, Black Power, The Politics of Liberation by Kwame Ture and Charles B. Hamilton. This book really breaks down and explains why uh, African Americans are uh, living um, under a situation of a colony. And um, I know a lot of us want to believe that um, we have been integrated into American society, but we have not. And um, so we just simply need to educate ourselves. Well, I think that might not have been the most entertaining video, but I hope that it was informative and worthwhile. Uh, so until next time, I want to say Asante Sana for watching which means thank you very much, and Kwa Karini Kwa Sasa, which means goodbye for now.